Today on Mike Attempts, custom grinder stand and multi-tool table. I got this old aluminum network rack for free, so I'm going to attempt to use it for a few projects. After disassembly, here's what I have to work with. With the right blade, a jigsaw is a good option for cutting aluminum. Unfortunately, I do not have the right blade. The teeth are too fine and I keep having to stop to pull little pieces of aluminum from between the teeth with a pair of needle nose pliers. Progress is slow, but I'm making do with what I've got. These pieces will be the base, so I'm drilling holes to attach the C-channel. That horrible noise is just the chuck rubbing against the aluminum. I've switched to the hacksaw, which has a better blade, but this tool is much harder to control and wasn't meant for detail work. This piece will go at the top to support the mount for the bench grinder. I cut a piece of plywood to the exact size of the grinder base and drilled two mounting holes. It isn't super stable yet, but we'll fix that later. Next, it's time to install the multi-tool attachment.
The multi-tool came with different bolts for various grinder brands, but none of them fit my DeWalt. Luckily, I happened to have three that were the right length. That never happens to me. It's very important that this circle plate is installed with the correct side facing out. The edge is tapered and the next piece won't fit right if the plate is backwards. Guess how I know. Now I'm going to start making the table for the side. I'll use the holes from this belt guide to mount the table. There's a notch to accommodate a bolt coming through from the other side. I need to match up the notch and the bolt holes. I know, I know. You're probably thinking, Whoa, Mike, why were you wasting your time with a jigsaw and a hacksaw when you have a portable bandsaw? Well, I've only had the bandsaw for a few days and the blades just arrived.
The bandsaw is great, but it doesn't work for all cuts. So back to the hacksaw for this one. I don't have a set of taps, so I bought these all-in-one impact bits that drill, tap, and clean up the edge of the hole. I didn't want to screw up the thread, so I manually backed out the bit a little before removing it. Here's a closer look at the tap bit. I polished up the top a bit and bolted the two pieces together. Here's the finished table. Time to bolt this thing to the floor. I drilled holes in the base and then used those to mark the concrete.
first hole went pretty well, but things went downhill from there. The bit walked around a lot before beginning to break through the concrete. The end result was three holes that didn't line up, and I spent a good amount of time wallowing out the holes in the base of the stand. I squirted some two-part epoxy in each hole and mixed it with a wooden grill skewer before setting the anchors. Here's a good view of the table mounted to the multi-tool. Due to at least a small amount of luck, the table is nice and level. There's a thin gap between the purple sanding disc and the table. I'm happy with how it turned out. See the description below for links to the tools and parts I used. Feel free to rate this video, add your comments and questions below, and subscribe for more.